in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light a reflection on the day's readings it's the 4th of march monday of the third week in ordinary time today we remember saint kasmir of poland and in india we mark the national safety day now let's listen to the gospel reading taken from luke chapter 4 verses 24 to 30 a reading from the holy gospel according to luke at that time When Jesus had come to Nazareth he said to the people in synagogue Truly I say to you no prophet is acceptable in his hometown but in truth I tell you there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the heavens were shut up 3 years and 6 months and a great famine came over all the land and elijah was sent to none of them but only to zarephtha in the land of sidon to a woman who was a widow and there were many lepers in israel in the time of the prophet elisha and none of them was cleansed but only naman the syrian when they heard these things all in the synagogue were filled with wrath and they rose up and drove him out of the town and brought him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built so that they could throw him down the cliff but passing through the amidst he went away the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ they rose up and drove him out of town they rose up and drove him out of town what did jesus say to get his towns folk so angry what did he say perhaps the answer is found in the people jesus used as examples here who are they the widow of zarephtha visited by elijah and naman the syrian whom elisha healed of leprosy you read today's first reading taken from second kings chapter 5 verse 1 to 15 it's about the healing of naman neither were from israel and that surely must have hit a nerve was jesus insulting them what did this carpenter's son have against his own people the idea that they were being lectured to by one of their own might well have been enough to set them off let's take a look at the story of naman to see what jesus was getting at better you read that reading you have it in the carmel light bible diary that we had published or else open your bible and read second kings chapter 5 verse 1 to 15 
like the people naaman had heard from a prophet and like them he did not take well to it instead of having him dip in a river seven times couldn't elisha heal him instantly and why should he go all the way to israel when syria had rivers galor naaman had his idea of how god should work and it wasn't until he left his comfort zone that he found what he was looking for it's true that to receive what god wants for us we usually need to make a step of faith sometimes a literal step the israelites had to walk through the red sea joshua's army had to march around the walls of jericho often we need to do something concrete to see god's promise fulfilled in our lives we may question his instructions as naaman did but we can also try to overcome our doubts and finally take that step to a place where his provision awaits us wherever you are on your faith journey know that god wants to bring you even further in your prayer today sit quietly before the lord and listen for the ways he might be calling you to grow in faith except that although your plans seem pretty good his plans are even better even if they are nothing like what you expected when you make a habit of trusting god's wisdom instead of your own you will find that you have more peace joy and inner strength so let him lead you you won't regret it let us pray father help me to trust you give me the grace to surrender my will to yours even if it means doing something i am afraid of amen my dear brother and sister we shall pray the responsorial psalm psalm 42 verses 2 and 3 then chapter 43 verses 3 and 4 the psalm response includes the phrase my soul is thirsting for god the living god this refrain should be a theme for today for lent for our life Let's pray that psalm now. Your response My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. When can I enter and appear before the face of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God the living God My soul is thirsting for God the living God When can I enter and appear before the face of God My soul is thirsting for God the living God O oh, send forth your light and your truth they will guide me on They will bring me to your holy mountain to the place where you dwell my soul is thirsting for god 
the living God. When can I enter and appear before the face of God? And I will come to the altar of God, to God my joy and gladness. To you will I give thanks on the harp, O God, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, at Infant Jesus Shrine, we have a contemplative retreat. Today, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday from 6 o'clock to 8.30 in the evening. We invite you to partake in the same. And we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Sister Mari Elizabeth Carmelite, Alvin Sardana from Basveshwar Nagar, Bengaluru and Jocelyn Kavita from UK. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. And we pray for the departed soul of Monti de Sousa from Beltangadi, Valerian Rodriguez from Shankarapura, Udupi. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day and a week ahead. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Saka Anipolaya Sumikitlo Swadik Kirtan Sovisu World Art Sumyache Swadik Ponu Maunant ani dhyanant sakche katir Yats marcha cha char taun so tarike munasar Baluk jizuche punshit karmel gudo munglur Hangasar tindi sanchi retir manun hadliya Sanje cha so taunu sade atwara puriyan hi retir salta Tumyeya herangki apanada